welcome to the In Between podcast. I'm your host, Joe Scorn, and I'm joined here by Tony Tones at RT. Uh, we're here to talk about video games and everything in between. And uh, this week, we're mainly going to be talking about Gamescom. So that's we, the big event that happened this week. We didn't think of a good intro this for this, weeks. actually. Well, I mean, who, <laughs> now, who really now. cares about the intros? <laughs> Apart from the intros where I get uh, Tony to dress up as a skeleton <laughs> and murder me to Goosebumps. <laughs> With Shrek. Yeah. It was Shrek Goosebumps. There's no other one. Those are the best ones. Also, the actor is very important as well. Also, we were talking about... It's episode 93 now. Um, we were thinking about doing something big for episode 100. That's going to be... It's marking... It's going to be... I think episode 100. I haven't done the math yet, but it's going to be close to our 100th episode. And I think four years doing... Three years, four years no, doing this? I think it'll be four years, won't it? 100. So, yeah, big milestone coming up. Of me talking to you while Dave <laughs> listens. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm I'm, ten, I'm definitely in real life next to you, not... We've seen your hand before. Yeah, I know. We know. On my shoulder. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, are we going to talk about what we've been playing at the end again? Do you like that order? Yeah, I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty good with order. I haven't been doing anything, though. I want to warn you. I, I, do, I, t- I, I think do I've told you everything. <laughs> I've been doing not a lot. Okay. But some things. Like, honestly, like, I was actually surprised, like, I think yesterday, I was like, oh, it's already been two weeks. Like, what mm. have I been doing? To be fair, I was dead for Space a week. Space Engineers. No. Um, Minecraft. I did Minecraft, but I was also dead for a also, week. Also, it's so the fucking Minecraft. Is the Minecraft server up? Or right has Michael now. put it on a desert flat? I think it's on desert flat. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> you can tell Michael not to put it on desert flat on every Sunday. time we do the podcast. Yeah. Well, I forgot it's been two weeks already. Yeah. It's okay though. We're just okay. showing the, the bamboo. Or anyway, I don't know. Uh, so we're, d- we're going to go through trailers. This is one a new game that was shown at um, Gamescon. It's also PAX now. So maybe next week will be PAX trailers. Yeah. Uh, I think it's PAX South. Uh, let me confirm that for you. West. What? Uh, what? As another no, one? No, PAX South is in January. PAX West. 2019. Let's have a look what's going on right now. West. Pax West. So there's there's East West. There's Pax South, and I think there's Pax Australia. Is there an Australian oh, is there Pax? So many, is this like Penny? Yeah, Ar- there's a Pax Australia like Penny as well. Arcade, right? Is what the PA stands for. Mm-hmm. The next is Expo. Penny Arcade Expo. Yeah. Um, it's not really a Penny Arcade anymore. No, it's more a games convention. <laughs> but Comic Con's not really about comics anymore. So. <laughs> Yeah, but what is these days? Mm. What is it? It's more about selling movie franchises and yeah, comic books. Mm. People <laughs> don't re- people don't really read the comic books. No, anymore. but they're comic book movies. Yeah, but you go to Comic Con and you see a trailer for Star Wars, and you're uh, like, okay. it was once a comic. It was once a Chinese comic. <laughs> yeah, if exactly. you don't okay, if you don't know, look up a video on YouTube. Um, basically, TLDR. Um, Star Wars was banned most films were banned in China because of censorship and practically Star Wars was like basically a it's a rebelling against the government film so obviously they can't show that so to bootleg it in they got the script and someone drew it into a comic but also translated it wrong and like changed it massively yeah so you need to like (laughs) you need to look it up because it's fucking hilarious Um, but this is the first game we're going to be looking at Ghost Runner is a um, kind of reminds me of like a cyberpunk Dishonored from what I saw in the trailer. It's first person according to the tags. Yeah, it is first person. You, I don't, uh, have you seen the trailer for this at all? I, I saw like, this bit. Okay. That was it. <laughs> this is the Steam page trailer. Yeah. I had the Gamescom trailer up, but I think I may have fucked it up because it, it looks like you just come down and assassinate this guy. And it reminded me of like a cyberpunk Dishonored, which is why I was pretty yeah. hard for it because you've got like. There's like free running aspects, a little bit mirror edgy, you know, the wall running. Yeah, I like that. I've, I've missed the first put. Like, oddly, how satisfying like first person free roaming is. Just like Hot Lava. Best yeah. game of all time. Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, I have been playing Hot Lava this week, but I don't think I have any footage. So. I mean, we have some audio from it. Yeah, <laughs> we got audio from it because I accidentally forgot I was recording. I recorded Left 4 Dead for like 10 minutes. And then I closed the game. And action, I is, I was yeah, action is so good that you closed it. It continues recording. You reopen the It says add and to your wish list. I added it to my wish list. <laughs> Too late. I'm interested Too late. in it. I added it to the own. Yes, it looks like a cyberpunk dishonored, so immediately I'm in coming 2020. So if you're interested in that, check that out. 
Uh, one of the big announcements, especially for you, because you're yeah. a huge KSP fan, uh, Kerbal Space Program 2 announcement trailer. Uh, we didn't really get any gameplay, I don't think, no. enough so, from what I saw. When I first saw this, I was really confused, like, what were they actually showing here? But it turns out, this is just an homage to a very popular fan trailer for the mm. original KSP. I was like, like, frame for frame, it's almost exactly the same. Or well, scene for scene, right. but it's the same. But the big announcement is Kerbal Space Program 2 is coming. Made by the people from Uber Entertainment, renamed to Star Theory. Mm. So, do we do we know um, what's going to be different about this one? Not really. We don't have any info. I don't think they've made the engine or anything yet. I think so. Is it going to. You said people want so, it to be more expanded, like base building once you get so to the moon in and their, stuff like that. In their, their own report, when they were talking about it, they, they're saying they want to have actual base building, like colonization systems. It's like, so it's not. Because at the moment, in KSP, you can technically have colonies, but it's like they're just like. You basically just land like a vehicle on the base and it's like really laggy if you want it really big. Mm. So it sounds like they want to make it like a more permanent structure, like a part of like doing it yourself. Um, in the trailer, they show like advanced propulsion drives. They want to make it more futury, like near the end game, which Kerbal doesn't do. It's very, it's only realistic stuff really in it. Mm. And other than that, we don't really know much. It's be very similar, different graphics maybe. I do have a frequently asked questions answered here. Yeah. So they did say it <laughs> won't be an Epic Games Store exclusive. Um, it will be released on Steam and other digital storefronts. So Humble, GOG, that sort yeah. of stuff. As well as the Xbox Marketplace and the PlayStation Store, so that's hinting towards um, maybe coming to consoles. Yeah. Um, I don't see how you could buy it from the PlayStation Store on a PC. So obviously they want to. The, <laughs> KSP is KSP one on consoles. I think it is now. Yeah. Okay, so this is this is definitely confirmed to become to consoles then. At some point, yeah. Um, they won't have mic transactions. They don't want in-game. Um, they won't have in-game currency or loot boxes. It's gonna be a normal game. And it will be available on Mac and Linux, so that's something nice to see. So, um, do we have more information about this? Do we have release date? Do we have a release no. date for this? No. Oh, okay. I like, I like how if he knows the game that YouTube thinks it is his Kerbal Space Program. It knows. <laughs> so that's the wrong game. Usually when we do the podcast, it's the first game we show, YouTube goes, is this this game? <laughs> yeah. And it goes, yes, this podcast is a oh. Minecraft <laughs> Let's Play. <laughs> Space Engine. Uh, Little Nightmares 2 confirmed coming to all um, digital and console platforms. Um, if you don't know, Little Nightmares 1 was like a horror platformer that looked pretty interesting. I know some people said it was really good. I, I haven't, haven't played it myself. No, I haven't played it. I haven't. Um, but there is a second game coming. It may, looks There's two characters. Maybe there's co-op in this one. Have a look. Bag on head and... Baghead, yeah, coat. I want to play Baghead. Okay, I want to be trade trench coat. Yellow raincoat. Ooh. It reminds me of, um... It reminds me of Inside. In a way. Yeah, it also reminds me of, um... Some of the animations kind of remind me a little bit... Oh, what's it? Like, Little Inferno guys, they have, like, a, like a, a distinct animation like that. Hmm. Kind of reminds me of... The writing as well reminds me of very Little inferno as well. Let me... Check the end card. Coming 2020 to all major platforms. PC digital download is what it says, so no word if it's going to be on Epic. Um, Steam. But speaking of a game that's not going to be on Epic and not going to be on Steam, uh, Orcs Must Die 3 is a Stadia exclusive <laughs> game. And I can't believe I'm saying that word. There's Stadia exclusive games now. For some reason. They seem to have got just Orcs Must Die 3 so far, apart from some like little indie games that people are making for Stadia. But this is... Orcs Must Die 3 is their big announcement, which I think says more about Google Stadia than anything else. I mean, not to say Orcs Must Die 3 or the Orcs Must Die games are bad, but they're not really a platform seller. No, people like them, but not, not a ridiculous number of people like mm. them. They're not like a, you know a, a PlayStation Four exclusive yeah. or an Epic Game Store exclusive. You know, they're gonna have to do a lot more because I believe the Stadia people are still confused how Stadia works. So I was having a conversation with Dave the other day where he I, he was like, "Oh, Stadia is like a subscription service where you that, like yeah, Origin Access," sure. and I'm like, "No, no, it's not. You um, it's a you, you have to buy the games. It's a subscription service for the computer that you rent out. Yeah, <laughs> that's about it." 
But then you still have to purchase the yeah. games, and then you can play There's them through the streaming There's an ultimate service. one where you get a game every now and again. Mm. But that's like three times the price. But yeah, I don't. Say so yeah. Have you played Orcs Must Die one or two? No, I, I think I own one of them. them. I've watched Sims play. I'm not. I'm not a big fan of no. uh, 3D tower defense games. I've played. I think the I, Sanctum. I didn't like Sanctum. I did like um, the medieval one. What's it called? Medieval. Oh. Hmm. A medieval th uh, first. Uh, a medieval third person tower. Game. Google will tell me. Uh, no, it will not. <laughs> what was that game called? I remember playing it a lot. Well, not that much, but. It's on Steam? Maybe. Browsing medieval. I'm just browsing medieval <laughs> games on Steam. It's on com. Mm. Uh, Die is coming to Stadia. Um, so. Sometime. <laughs> If you want to play that game so much, you're willing to go through and get Stadia, I guess. Play is funny, it's funny in the um, the YouTube thing. I don't know why. Some people are saying this is the only thing worse than an Epic Game Store exclusive. No. Um, we'll watch the next trailer actually. and I'll have a look for this game I'm thinking of. Uh, Chernobyl Light is a new game coming. Yeah, I always I read it wrong in my head, so I always get this wrong. The, the naming of it. <laughs> This, this, like, this, seeing these images reminds me a lot, because I just watched the, well, uh, a couple months ago I watched the, the, the Chernobyl TV the series. Thing. Yeah, it was really good. Uh, so this is definitely releasing at a good time because of the hype of the, um, the yeah. TV show, which is really good. Um, but it kind of, some people are saying it looks like Scuff Stalker. Because the idea, oh, you know, the yeah, idea of Stalker yeah. is, you know, you play as... Why is it Scuff um, Stalker, though? I don't know, because it's not released yet. Okay. I don't see how this is Scuff Stalker, but sure. Dungeon know. Defenders. Oh, Dungeon Defenders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like that, though? Yeah, I, I, not like I loved it. Yeah. I, I, it was a game I played. It's the first game I owned on Steam. Really? Yeah. You know what the first game I owned on Steam was? TFC. No. Four. No. Counter-Strike. Oh, Counter-Strike. Because my brother and I kept... We had... Um, yeah, Martin, we're going to be doing Mountain Blade. Um, it's coming one, two, three, four, five. Six. Hold your horse. Six trailers after this one. Hold we'll be your feet. Mountain Blade. Um, yeah, but Chernobyl is pretty cool. Um, I really like this though. Like the greens. It doesn't make any sense, but <laughs> they would have. They'd be sunburnt and radioactive. It wouldn't be, be green. All over them. <laughs> they'd have cancer. It wouldn't be green. It would right. be invisible. So. But it's it's a fictional, yeah. It's fictional. Yeah, it's it cares. Uh, there's a new Need for Speed game, Need for Speed. Yeah, and we both coming. thought they were really and good. And we were like, <laughs> we were both like, oh, a new Need for like, Speed game. Yeah. Who cares about that? But then we actually watched it. And we're like, actually, this does look kind of good, in a weird way. Um, I still love the things that like they're not real uh, brands of cars. That look very I, I really real liked the and... Need for Speed. Um, I think it was what? Most Wanted. Yeah, was I like. The one. I played Need for Speed Carbon a lot. I, like the Need for Speed games where you can roam around and you can get like chased by the police and yeah. stuff were like really good games. It seems like Heat's going in that direction. Yeah. So it looks like to me a yeah. combo. Because we both... saw like open world mini map. And well, we see like police cars and stuff like that. We can't hear us because we've got the muted. But they were saying like, oh, you can do like non like legitimate races where they, they actually like cordon off an area of the map, or you mm. can do street racing. That's illegal. Uh, this looks like that's like a proper thing because they've actually got it cordoned off. Well, I there's think fans there. I think my favorite open world racing games that I've played in the past five years or or ten years or something. Um, I really liked Burnout Paradise City mm. was fantastic, and um, Driver San Francisco is fantastic. Oh yeah, as well. yeah we can yeah. jump into yeah. other people's cars as like a ghost. That was great. Um, so if this is it, anything like those kind of games, I'm sure I like it. This to me looks like a, like a modern version of. I Carbon. like I like Burnout Physics because I like just crashing into people. Yeah, because I'm I'm not the greatest racer, but. I kind of prefer the more arcadey physics, but apparently they're changing the race, the driving model that some people didn't like. They say that all the time, though. Apparently, yeah, they they they're <laughs> trying they're trying to tweak the racing model on Need for Speed to get it 
closer to what it was. They, okay, I will say this: the, also their drifting was a lot more tight this time mm. than the last time. The last time I remember, people were like saying like, "Oh, this handling around corners is awful." This looks. I always we can't tell because no one's played it. But, but basically, it this, looks is, this is the game that's going to come to Origin Access, and then I'll probably play it then. So it looks pretty good. Not if it's after you've cancelled it. So most wanted players know how to escape the police through the donut shop and the water tower. That's a little reference. Uh, humankind. This was another game show. Oh, this was weird, called. wasn't? It? Yeah. Yeah, and you're like, who what are these the people? Hell is, this is Siv. And it was like, this is Siv, and I'm like, yeah. But this <laughs> this actually looks pretty good, and you know who yeah. makes this? So you're like, you were like, who are Amplitude Studios? And I'm like, these are the people who made Endless yeah. um, Legends and Endless Space, all the Endless games. So if you don't know, Endless Legends is basically and like was, Siv with magic. Yeah. Also, recently, like all of their stuff is now published through Sega. Mm. But that, that they used to be self-published. Because you've you and I, I love think Michael Legend. have played this. It's like uh, sure. uh, Dave, if you, if you haven't played this game, I'd check it out. Yeah, it's, this is really it's good. really good. It's, it's only Warmong. <laughs> it's like it's like Civ, but with um, magical creatures and, and stuff. It's basically only Warmongering. It's a four X game, set although in a, in a fantasy universe. If you want to play diplomatic, there's always the dragons. Dragons are diplomatic. Yeah. That speaks to me they, immediately. I think they they see everyone immediately where everyone lives. Oh, it's getting on watch list. Maybe. I don't Maybe know why it's got Mesa, it's actually really good. Uh, that's recent, so we can have a yeah, look. I don't know what this is. Maybe like. there's something the devs did to piss people off. Only 27 reviews there, um, recent. It's beautiful of a game, but it's boring. Oh no, no. Unnecessarily complicated slow. and boring. It's not, how's it slow? Okay. I think you're playing it wrong if you think it's slow. To be fair, okay, I will say it is very complicated. It took me eight, because I played it more with Callum than I did with Michael. Mm. And we got fucked by the AI over and over again. Like Someone's together. saying uh, awful combat system and death by a thousand cuts UI makes the game a chore. Okay, I like the UI. But yeah, it's it's yeah. Com- it's not it's not an easy game. It's complicated and it's like you can get fucked over by. But they you made don't understand. endless space. Is endless space any good? I have it on my like, normal. Uh, no, I don't. I'm not a big fan of it. This has got more positive reviews than the other. Yeah, one. it's 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 an, it's like a more. Is it more like is it more game. like um, Warhammer? It's more like Solaris, but more Aggie. traditional. It's playing two. It's, t- it's playing two trailers. I'm going back. <laughs> <laughs> it's more of a tra- like it's, it's. I think it's turn based. I think, mm. it, but and then like you can like go between systems. That was I, don't, I, don't, I don't really like that because you, you have to go like, through like hyperlane paths and things. It's like, eh, it's kind of like a more traditional 4X uh, space game. We're getting the first Metro Exodus uh, expansion. Um, the two uh, Epic kernels. exclusive. Uh, well, um, is it? you can get Metro Exodus on the Xbox Game Pass for PC. So it's not <laughs> Epic exclusive. <laughs> sort of exclusive. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, I still don't understand how they managed that one. Like, what, what the hell happened? What's the um, ray tracing like? In, it's not full ray tracing, I don't think, in Metro X. No, it was. It was double full ray tracing. Really? Yeah, they had two They had two versions. They had the... Um, what was it? They had, like, this, the, they had the full lighting that you could turn on and off. I think they had something else. I don't know. Anyway. So this, was, this had the most ray tracing technology in there. I heard mixed things about Metro Exodus, so I'm not sure about it. Yeah, but, Jim um, didn't like it, but a lot of other people really liked it. So, I don't know. It looks good though. I actually, I actually like the look of it. Um, I'm. But speaking of Jim's Metro, n- <laughs> Metro 2033 movie announced for 2022. So it'll probably, it'll probably come can out you... about the same time the Portal <laughs> film that we heard about comes out, can directed by JJ Abrams. Based 11 years in the future, 11 years before it set. I don't know, but we have that like uncanny valley thing now, where yeah. like um, Blade Runner's set in twenty nineteen, yeah, and it's, well, it's it it comes in and it's like Los Angeles and it's just covered in like smog and smoke, and I'm like, yeah, that seems like LA. <laughs> but isn't it like the original Terminator? Like it was like twenty sixteen, like Doomsday yeah. Well, when was um Back to the Future? Was like what 2013, 2015 or something? I think that was either 2015. Back to the Future two set date set in what year? Because um, I remember it came up recently. 2015. Yeah, 2015. yeah, 2015. So we recently had that. And like companies were like making the hoverboards in yeah. 2015 and the <laughs> holographic like, and the, the, the Nikes that lace themselves up and stuff like that. We got so, those though. Mm. Anyway, moving on. Um, Viga is a new. Uh, not Viga. I appear to have missed one. Okay. 
Uh, oh, sorry, Death Stranding. We got some more gameplay. I was watching the Gamescon live stream, and Jeff Knightley said, my favorite person has entered the building. We said this last week, and I said, yeah. Hideo Kojima's entered the building, because he fucking loves Hideo Kojima. Why is it? Yeah, so you said Hideo Kojima, so either Hideo Kojima or, like, Elvis. Press the wake up button. <laughs> What's the wake up button? But we got some actual gameplay of Death Stranding. And I feel like if we see death gameplay of Death Stranding, we're probably going to be more confused than we... I'm already more confused. Why is he Wait, he's pissing? urinating. Yeah. Now, <laughs> there's only been a few games brave enough to have urination in them, and one of them was Duke Nukem Forever. And that, that was the greatest game of all time. Did he just grow a mushroom for his piss? What the fuck is going on? What the fuck? See, this is, this is the I game didn't watch where the more you part. know about it, the I, less you understand. I didn't watch this part. I watched the ending of it, I think. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck's going on. Because I'm watching gameplay and I'm still confused. <laughs> this I'm sure there's commentary. We, got scanning, we, like... we can't watch the whole thing because it's seven minutes long. Look you can, you ladder can put mechanic. ladders down that and climb such, up them. That's such a good mechanic. And there's a ghost in it of Matt that, Damon. That's a hologram. It's Jeff! Wait, it's Jeff! <laughs> Wait, is Jeff in the game? <laughs> Wait, Jeff Knightley's in the game? What the fuck? The Doritos King? <laughs> Let's see if I can find that. Doritos Pope. You don't know the meme. <laughs> this man is in the game. <laughs> Why is he the Doritos Pope? Doritos and Mountain Dew. Wait, what um, the hell's this? The Metal Gear Solid one. Yeah. Is he a. I think Metal there, was, Gear there, there was like. There was like this huge. Um, he was doing like an interview and it was like massively sponsored by Doritos and Mountain Dew. So <laughs> in your face. It's not this um, one, is it? A Halo, something, that, whatever Halo it was. So everyone just started 2012. calling. 2012. Do you remember when they did that thing where it's like if you buy Mountain Dew, you can get levels up in yeah. Call of Duty or you buy Doritos? Call of Duty, you can get like, Mountain Dew. You can get like Halo yeah. XP and stuff like that. Like, oh, close with the baby. They're talking to you. What's going on? Basically, they were just like, this isn't gaming journalism, this is just an advert. Yeah. So everyone just started calling him like the Doritos Pope, but anyway. You can slide. You see him talking to a baby, I think that's what was happening. <laughs> this grass stitch looks terrible, but... Yeah, I'll be honest, that's one thing that the Hideo Kojima's games don't do very well is grass. Do we have a release date yet? Do we know? I don't 2019. Think Sometime. It says 2019 according to YouTube. Um, Viga is a new free-to-play <laughs> um, uh, a looter shooter for the Xbox One. So if you have an Xbox One, there's a new game for you. So it looks like it's set in like a radioactive zone. Maybe it'll be better than like Fallout 76, why? hopefully. <laughs> so why is like radi radiation like really popular this I year? I don't know. I really don't understand. Chernobyl. Is, what is it like? Chernobyl's so hot okay, right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can you search when did Chernobyl happen? Because it might be like a like a mile not milestone. What's the, like an anniversary? It's like twenty. No, say you sit eight what? thirty years ago. Yeah. Yeah, but why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we have like an anniversary in like twenty sixteen? I don't understand. Probably. I don't understand. I think it was a Tom Scott video recently. We went to no, I think it was Potassium. He went yeah, to yeah. Um, Chernobyl, and you can see like the dome they put over it. Yeah. In um, it's in um Ukraine, isn't it? Yeah. yeah because it it was part of the USSR, but then they um split they them shut up. it down. Was that Norman Reese holding an orange space baby? Yes. Chernobyl so <laughs> radioactive right now. Yeah. Yeah, so it was actually it's pretty so fine. hot right now. It's was pretty safe actually. I was listening not, not right next to. One of the actually. scary things is hot lava. When you play it, it has lava. It has lava um, facts, and it was like it says between like sixteen to twenty volcanoes erupt a year. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? How are we not knowing about all these volcanoes erupting? So you know, we have to be worried about radioactivity. We have to be worried about lava. We're gonna die at some point, but it'll well, probably yeah, be we'll us who kill us. everyone. Yeah, we we we're fucking up the planet more than anything else. 
we got Destiny 2 Shadow Keep. Uh, yeah. Destiny is now available on uh, Steam. I'll just show you that quickly. You can now. Um, so you on October first, the base game is free to play if you want to play it on Steam. And then if you want to purchase, what they're doing is you can purchase the expansions, basically. The Shadow Keep yeah. is the new one, and then they'll release more from there, and that's where they're getting their money. Um, it's Hang on, War, it's full of time if you're MMORPG. Yeah, <laughs> it's, I wouldn't say it is, because I, I think like Warframe is listed as like a MMO, yeah. but I wouldn't say that is either. No. What the hell is going on? I don't know. <laughs> what am I Destiny. watching? Space aliens <laughs> in suits. <laughs> Getting shot by particles. I like sci-fi. I have no idea what I'm watching. What? This from, yeah, what? I, I played Destiny <laughs> 2 beta and I didn't really like it. So most, you know. Oh, Dave said most of the volcanoes in the world are underwater. Yeah, sure. That's why um, we don't know about 20 volcanoes going off a year. We probably do know them. It's just that it doesn't affect anyone. Mm. That looked like a fucking Doom yeah. character. Okay. Anyway. Uh, moving on to the main news, Martin. Quick news. Main news. Main Mountain news. Blade 2 Battlelord. We got early access announcement. It Dude. will be available on Steam early access in March 2020. Does my time timestamp for this? Yeah, get the Martin <laughs> timestamp. So you can go and rewatch this after rewatching it live. I have never played Mountain Blade, ever. No, I've watched people play it. Uh, but people are very hyped for this. I know it's a very popular game. A very serious. popular medieval. Yeah, yeah, very popular game series. Very popular not, medieval. I just thought you, you were like, predicting the future. this is going to be a very popular game when it comes out. I thought you were predicting the future. I don't know, but we, we've seen like lots of popular. I love, I love, hang on, can we go back like 10 what? seconds? What did you want to point out? That animation. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, it's, 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 like, not, it's game large are, scale. Yeah, so you yeah, can't like yeah, yeah. do each individual animation. Man and Blade has like, always had shit like individual animation. <laughs> I just had, like, I actually love how uh, janky the other bases are. Is Mountain like... Blade first person? It's third person, right? I don't know. Or you can switch between. I'm not I, sure. You, you, Mar you're like, maybe Mark. You're like tell a commander, me. right? And then you're you're actually like an actual. Per I don't know. I can't remember. I think when I was watching, you were first person, but mm. I might be wrong. The medieval games I really like. Uh, I like chivalry. Chivalry is really yeah. good, and I wanted to play Maud Howe, um, but. Um... They seem um, to not be putting the game on sale at all. Like, last oh, sale, right. the previous two sales, it just hasn't gone on sale. Oh, Boy um, of the Roses, that was fantastic. Oh, <laughs> talk about... You can switch between first person and third person. Thank you, Martin. Um, does, is, does anyone remember War of the Roses? Because that game doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> and it's no, the weirdest thing. They don't even have dedicated servers. I own War of the Roses refused, and I can't play it. They refuse to put out the source code for some reason. I don't know why. Basically, I think the company just... It just died. They didn't have time I'm, to I'm looking up the actual War of the Roses. Uh, yeah. 1485, War of the Roses died. Late 2012, Jesus. Paradox. Publishing. But this, this, this was like a third-person medieval action game, which kind of reminds me a little bit of um, some of the stuff in um, Mountain I Blade. Just, I just kind of like the look of it. and like, uh, like It still looks good today. Okay, so I didn't like bow and arrow yeah, so you can switch. You could switch between first person and third person in, in War of the Roses as well, which where it kind of reminds me of a little bit of Mountain Blade. But obviously, it wasn't as popular as that game because this, this is just, War of the Roses is now dead. It's just a multiplayer game. Um, I did play it a little bit. I pretty much got baited into buying it because um, it had a Brian Blessed <laughs> voice pack DLC where Brian Blessed <laughs> comes along. Oh shit! Well, we we have to play that video. Where is it? <laughs> Brian Blessed swearing. You just thought like, search for it. I'll show it. Look, it was, um... Okay, so I just saw a Jim Sterling video name. He did a, um, voiceover. But, the, but there is this big DLC, and I was like, oh, I have to get it now. It's got Brian Blessed. I fucking love Brian Blessed.
Oh, it must be can't hear the desktop audio. They can't hear the audio. No. On the podcast. Shit. You can't turn the bins out. Shit, I forgot to turn the bins. Oh. I, 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 why can't they hear it? Uh. Because we, 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 we can hear it. We can see on the OBS though. Yeah, we, we can see it, that there's no problem. Can you go to the settings on that? Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I can edit it during the... Okay. And you... Okay, sorry. I'll, I'll play that again. <laughs> Drive out the York dogs! <laughs> we lost the church. Oh, that's only blast pencils. it, blast it, blast it! Put Brian Blessed on the soundboard. <laughs> Add it to the list, Tony. It's Write it down. The Brian Blessed. I'm just... I'm in the studio. Uh, looking very similar, and that. I just uh, completed. Uh, I thought you could hear it because we could hear it. But narration, that's something uh, I like to call ostrich theory, what? where oh, because you, um, yeah. usually in games I go that I couldn't see that guy. How did I? Yeah. How did he kill me? Yeah. And then I go, oh, okay, I'm being an ostrich. <laughs> just because I can't see him doesn't mean he can't see me. Because the myth is lot... ostriches put their heads in the yeah. sand. So because they think if 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 they can't see someone, they can't yeah. see them. But it's. I think it's. Weird. I, I think calling I, it. It's an urban You can call it they baby theory as well because they don't. If, when they can't see something, they don't recognise it exists anymore. Uh, for the War of, of the Roses, the enemy is advancing. I he's got the same look. He's got <laughs> the same bottle as me. Twins. <laughs> Fucking me and Brian Batten. <laughs> two cuts of the same thread. Just two grow, sides of the you, same coin. You need to grow a big oh shit! Bit. I've said fuck. Oh fuck! I've said shit. Oh shit! The enemies are advancing at the gate. <laughs> Yeah, I just need to grow a massive beard. <laughs> oh shit, I'll start again. Take two. Uh, well, fuck. Oh, oh shit, I've said fuck. Oh fuck, I've said shit. No, look. <laughs> I named this ship Felicity Ann, and God save all those who sail in there. Upper. Oh shit. <laughs> oh fuck, I've said shit. Oh shit, I said fuck. No, there was a woman <laughs> down the alleyway, Mrs. Holmes, and she, she's going to report me for saying bugger, you know. Oh, just wait till I see your mother. You're in real trouble. Oh, Wait, you gotta go and see it. Then. Uh, if, so, if you don't know Brian Blessed, he's most famous for Flash. Or in the live. Fantastic film. There he is. He's also in um, the first. This is such a weird film to be watching now. It's still pretty good, though. <laughs> Yeah, National Treasure Brian Blessed was on War of the Roses, the which first... is a game that was kind of oh. like Mountain Blade, and that's why I've gone on this massive tangent about Brian Blessed. What's... What were you saying? Not Monty Python, the other one. What's the other one called? Blackadder. He's in the Blackadder. He's in Blackadder, yeah. True. Anyway. If you want to see more of him. Mountain Blade is a game. <laughs> War of the Roses is, yeah, is a game. War of the Roses was a game. <laughs> it's no longer. I own that game, but it will no longer That's That's a big, exist. That's a big tangerine to a... Yeah, Brian, well, this is it. our final track. Uh, Pathological Two was a big success that came out. Um, I think it was it came out this year recently, and it's now got a new DLC. Uh, it's a weird little psychological horror kind of yeah. I don't, I don't game. understand it. Why am I missing? But I heard it's really good. Okay, I just don't understand. What is Penguin? I think there's like exploration as well. So there's the original. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, God. Diddle, 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 diddle. <laughs> I'm watching game. This is the original. Three years ago. Yeah, but this is the original one. This is like, yeah. they made a HD version of it. But I think it's like an open world game where you can do exploring and stuff, but there's also like horror elements and stuff like okay. that. Okay. So that's I'm still confused, more interesting than just. Because yeah. most horror games are it's like. It's just a tight story. If I was going to describe most horror. Mod, AAA horror games, it would be. Um, a poorly disguised puzzle game. <laughs> yeah, in a corridor. In, in a, a corridor with jump scares. Yeah. Um, but... That's not all of them, but yeah, it's it's a it's a puzzle game. Most yeah. Of the time. Yeah. Wow, classic is out. Quick news. Has it, Martin, I see. I saw you on Battle.net, Martin. You've been playing Wow Classic. Please tell me. <laughs> are you playing Warrior or are you playing um, a easier to level class? Are you going? Because the thing about Warrior is Warrior is like one of the hardest classes to level. Uh, but it's also, but then when you get to late game, you become an unkillable machine. Should we put the mushroom video on? You know what I'm saying? Oh, about? yeah, 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 yeah. we got to put this video on because I fucking. Oh, uh, yeah, he's playing Warrior. So, Warrior is one of the hardest uh, classes to level up as. 
so this is. Does this guy still post stuff, or is this a dead channel now? No, I'll just quickly check. This is a dead channel. Only have thirteen subscribers. And Seventy-seven you're... views, dead channel. Um, so this <laughs> this is classic um, PvP late game in a nutshell. Warlocks have problems against rogues. I don't know why you're complaining. Warlocks aren't supposed to be rogues. PvP is based on rock, <laughs> paper, scissors. Ah, let me see if I understand. <laughs> rogues are scissors. <laughs> Warriors are rock. That makes sense, yeah. Hunters, paladins, priests, druids, mages, and shamans <laughs> are paper. Warlocks uh, are mushrooms. mushrooms. <laughs> paper beats rock. Scissors beat paper. Scissors also happen to beat rock. Until rock hits 60, at which point rock becomes an unstoppable killing machine that also beats paper. And wood beats scissors, but it can't find scissors, because scissors are invisible. <laughs> so scissors beat paper and avoid rock, and that is called balance. <laughs> That's the balance of classic PvP. Uh, warriors become unkillable machines, rogues become un um, ganking machines, but warriors can't kill rogues because rogues are invisible. And that, and I love how they go straight as warlocks are mushrooms, and then they never explain what mushrooms are meant to do. So, yeah. Um, so we have had, I think, uh, so WoW Classic had uh, 1.6 million concurrent viewers on Twitch. Yeah, it was massively it was crazy. popular. I think it's still going strong now, isn't it? It's been out about um, three or four days. I think, and somebody has already got level 60. Oh my God. We've had a level 60 gnome mage on EU from Sweden, I believe. It was Martin. Um, no, it wasn't Martin. He was a... Yeah, okay. There was a gnome mage. He got to level 60. I think that they've killed... Um, they've, they, we've got a Ragnaros kill already, <laughs> and we have an Anixia kill already. Uh, let me just pull up the clips. Uh, world first Ragnaros and classic. He's already dead. Rip. The Ragnaros has already been killed. Basically, um, the hard part of classic is leveling. Yeah. But the bosses are like a joke compared to like modern um, World of Warcraft bosses. Right. Um, well, classic is more like a patience test where a lot of the things you do are more based on. Um, you have to get like a um you have to you have to like get buffs and stuff and potions yeah. and stuff and well, you have to those walk to the instance and you have to summon people I mean, there's a world for 60 listed on the on the clips yeah where's that i think it was on this on the red dot one. Oh, okay. did i get that one as well further down Can I have a bit more World oh, first yeah, and Nixia. Yeah. Well, as as world first sixty classic players start second. This chain quest. Is that useful? The Joker TV was the world first level sixty. He was a bold gnome mage, and during the race uh, method, um, they had their yeah apes. Yeah, I'm showing the clips now. Um, apes. They got oh, um, God, okay. world first Nixia and Ragnaros already. I think it's been three or four known? days. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? I think the idea... <laughs> Gnomes are actually have really strong racials in classic. Oh, okay. Because you have... I think Escape Artist is really good. Well, for PvP at least. Or, um, dwarf... I think Dwarf Priests are... Re dwarfs, are dwarfs are like the best tanks in the game because you have stone form. Um, and also, um, in classic... And um, classic is the... I think it might be the only expansion where... Different classes have different abilities because mm. I think a dwarf priest has different uh, gets a different ta like a different spell to like a um, a orc priest if you can do that in classic I'm not sure because they weren't even for even forty level sixties yeah I mean what I was gonna say like the the amount of um, mechanics you have to do in like LFR right now is more complicated than classic raiding. Oh right, okay. So just casual raiding in um like LFR on uh on normal World of Warcraft is like people are saying it's like two times harder than what this is. <laughs> that's just random groups mm. okay. 
And the FP but what I was saying yeah, is Method were hosting this big event where they were trying to get to level 60 first. Method is the yeah. biggest raiding guild in the world. They're like world first. They yeah. have like 200 world firsts or something. And they basically accused Joker of account sharing, who was the world first level 60 gnome. And it became a big meme that he, because he, he made a joke that he was like, a, he was switching with his twin brother <laughs> um, to play. Because this, this guy played brother? like crazy. So I was watching some of his stream and he was just, um, so there's, there's three main ways people were power leveling. Questing, mm. um, dungeon uh, farming, which I don't know if you've, how have you been leveling, Martin? Have you been questing or have you done any dungeon grinding? Because people were doing like um, a Scarlet Monastery grinding to get up levels. What what Joker did was he was playing mage, and one thing about mage is you can do AOE grinding farming. Okay. So he would just get a pack, freeze them, um, you know, cone of cold, arcane explosion, and then he would just call down blizzard, 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 blink away, blizzard, 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 and just slowly kill them over time. Okay, mine's been questing. What what level are you, Martin? By the way, level six, then clearly. Um, but the way he did it was um, he was mob farming. It was this big joke. They falsely accused him. I think Method did eventually apologize for falsely accusing him of account sharing. And I think when he hit level 60, he had like 200k viewers. And then in the ultimate show of... of um, he was, This guy was like a huge meme. He was just playing like Gachi and stuff his entire stream while <laughs> being the world first level 60. And um, as soon as he finished his 200... As soon as he got level 60, he, he was like, okay, I'm done. He like went to delete his character, um, but he couldn't because everyone kept spam sending him mail. You, you can't delete your character if you have mail in your mailbox. So everyone just kept spam sending him mail so he couldn't delete his character. Because um, This guy has experience leveling up on Classic because I think he got two um, world firsts or server firsts um, for hitting level 60 on private servers. Oh, okay. So he's had like a it's lot of experience with vanilla. Yeah. Um, but yeah, congratulations to him. And when he got that 200k viewers from watch it, from hitting level 60, he said, I'm going to sleep, guys. <laughs> and then he hosted Method. And he like, it's like this. Anyway. But yeah, WoW Classic looks really good. Um, something I was talking about before WoW Classic came out, um, there's lots of people have been arguing about add-ons, what add-ons you use. Uh, do you use Questy, Martin? What add-ons do you use? Because some people are saying that there's some add-ons that change the functionality of the game where in classic you have to open your quest log, you have to read it, and then you have to figure out where to go. Yeah. But there's some add-ons like Questy where um, it'll go, the mobs are here, you need to kill this on the map, which is yeah. more like um, modern well. Mm. Some people were developing an add-on that was basically looking for group as an add-on, which right. is something, a functionality from the new um, World of Warcraft expansions. Um, but in the f in, in classic... Um, so Blizzard um, said, we don't want this in Classic. It's going to ruin the experience for a lot of players. Yeah. Uh, so they decide to um, disable the functions of the Looking for Group add-on. And they've also... There's huge queue times to even play the game at the moment. For a lot of the popular servers, uh, a lot of people want to play on the streamer servers. So there's, like, massive populations on those. Um, so there's, like, 10,000 queue or something like that. People are, like... Going are uh, using Team View on their phone to start the queue from work so they can get on and play WoW Classic by the time they got home. It's like a lot of streamers were saying, um, you know, if you have a normal job, how the hell do you play uh, WoW Classic? Because you oh, right. you come home, yeah. you sit in a queue, you can play for like an hour, <laughs> you kill like two mobs, and then you have to go off. Um, Mark says he has Questy. I don't know where to go for the most best but don't know where things spawn and what drops like pretty much no queue now which server do you play on do you play on a populated one or not so populated because they open more servers yeah it's almost a good well, um, to. basically what they did when well classic launches they added um sharding um so if there was too many people on the same area they wouldn't be able to see each other and that would stop you know people's servers from lagging out which isn't part of the classic experience they said they're going to get rid of it um, after the, I think, three weeks or something like that. They have um, stop bombarding Because the they didn't want to open a bunch of servers because what will happen is there'll be a bunch of servers and when <clears throat> the, this massive influx of people who have never played World of Warcraft Classic and are going to play for a couple of weeks, 
and then they're going to go off and do something else, mm. those servers are going to die because there's going to be no people on them. They could just merge the servers off. Yeah, that is something people said, but they could merge the servers. That's, that's what most games do these days. Yeah, I think Gehenna's <laughs> is the biggest EU server. Um, I believe Joker the Mage was playing on Mograin um, EU, which is even more baller. He was playing on a PvP server and he got world first. He actually got ganked by one point by a bunch of Horde. Oh, right. And this whole time playing on a PvP server, he still got world first. You get more experience being PvP. Is no, it the same? It's, it's just, the same. Just... The only thing about being on a PvP <laughs> server you is you can get killed by other people. And especially in World Classic, all of the high level zones are contested zones. Yeah. But he was so far ahead of everyone else, it didn't matter. It didn't even matter. Plus. He got um, so far, it didn't he didn't He said, it. like, Mage is really good for leveling, but it was really interesting because I think two of the best leveling classes to get level 60 first are Hunter versus Mage, mm. where um, Hunter is destroying levels really early, but then when they get later, they slow down, whereas Mage is really slow early, but as they get later, they get faster and faster and faster. Mm. So it's always interesting to see hunters versus mages, where he said, like, yeah. uh, in the beginning, you know, there was hunters that are nine levels above me, but now, you know, I'm nine levels above them. You know. Yes, mage wins. Mage wins. Or he's just really good at leveling. Mm. Well, he's had plenty of practice on yeah. the private servers, so... <clears throat> no time wasting. There was something else I was going to say about World Classic that I forgot. Uh, oh, yeah, one last thing. Um, there is only one RP server oh, right. for the entirety of the EU, and it's in the English language. Because in Europe, if you don't know how the WoW servers work, uh, there's an English realms, German realms, um, Spanish, I think. And I don't think there's Russian realms. Oh, okay. So, uh, is it, so if, if you want to RP on Classic, um, because there's no sharding, or there won't be any sharding after three weeks, and there'll be like a big uh, PV. There'll be like a big RP community. There's only one server, and it's in English. So there's going to be tons of like Germans. There's going to be tons of Spanish people. There's going to be tons of multi-language people, all on one server. So that was uh, really stupid of Blizzard. Am I going to play Classic? I've thought about it. <laughs> I have the game installed. It's only like a couple gigabytes. I even installed a bunch of add-ons, but I'm not sure. Um, I so was the other games to play. Yeah, I was thinking about just waiting a couple of weeks until the hype dies down. Yeah, because then there won't be any queue times, and then I can just play. I'm probably just gonna level up at my own. I don't. There's tons of people right now that feel really pressured to be like, I need to be dungeon grinding. I need to be ahead. I'm gonna get left behind if I don't do this. If I was going to play, I would pretty much just quest and just slowly level up at my own pace yeah. i wouldn't i don't really like care about you know when i get group. 60 it's more about for me the it's, fun. it's more about the fun than yeah. the the end it's more about the journey than the end yeah but also they don't they don't care about your journey being you don't care about being frodo instead of bilbo but you still have to pay because um you you need an active well, it says that world of warcraft <laughs> expansion to play you don't have to buy the game but no but use a subscription um, but there is the double whammy, so if you get WoW Classic, you can play 8.2 BFA, which is so pretty good. boring. Is it? Oh, okay. Well, if you've never played BFA, it's probably interesting, but I played 8.2 because uh, World of Warcraft gave me three days of free game time. Three and I checked days? It out. Yeah. <laughs> free I checked out the new. I checked out the new 8.2 zones, and I was like, this is just more world questing, I don't really care. Right. Feels bad, man. But I might play it. Mm. Are you playing Alliance or Horde, Martin? Horde. I kind of want to play Alliance. <laughs> I probably won't interact with you if you're playing Horde. If you play on a PvP server, he will. Me and Martin actually <laughs> played on um, Nostra uh, Nostralius, the original yeah. Nostralius. I remember we were leveling up in um, Jasper, Mol uh, Jasper Old Vines. Um... And I was playing Paladin, mm. and Martin was playing Warrior, and I was saying, Martin, tank this, tank this, and we kept dying over and over again, and it was fucking AIDS. But... So you weren't going to turn to a bear? <laughs> turn into a bear? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was doing. Oh. <laughs> I don't even remember. You, oh, you were a druid. I just turned into a bear. You were a druid on, um, <laughs> on Modern World. Um, yeah. But you were, you were a warlock. You know what I was after we... that as well, yeah. I was also, I was we also, we also well. played in the private me I tried to get Toby to play yeah. on the private server, but it was like the launch of Elysium, yeah. which was the NOS was, code taken yeah. to a new server. 
and it was it was it was like WoW Classic. Yeah, because people on, were queuing for like on mob drops. Yeah, on Modern WoW, I was playing Night Out. Night gonna out? make an ally. On, I play hard. If you want to play ally, play on Dreadmist. Gonna make an ally on that. Oh, okay. Because the thing with WoW Classic is, if you have one faction, you can't make another faction. What? On a server. Oh, I see. So okay. if if you have Horde on one server, you can't make an alliance on that server. Right. It's and it's so hard to level up a character, so it's pretty much like um, when you choose a faction, you're choosing a faction. Yeah. And there's a big choice because it uh, depends what your friends are going to play. And um, uh, Alliance has Paladins and Horde has Shamans. So it's like a... You know, Basically the same. It's the only expansion where there's a faction dependent yeah um class, class yeah. because eventually in bf in uh, not bfa sorry uh not legion uh, burning crusade they add blood elves who can become paladins and then they add draenei who become shamans and then the balance just goes to be space count. red versus blue doesn't really matter it's basically red versus blue at that point because <laughs> picking a faction doesn't really make a difference anyway I've been talking about Quick WoW. News. I've been talking about WoW Classic for a long time. <laughs> Let's talk about bees. <laughs> Minecraft <laughs> is adding bees. Oh, I'm gonna add a new. It's been so long. Bees. It's meant to be quick news. Uh, but, uh... No, we're not on quick news anymore. We've moved off quick news. <laughs> no, no. We're on long news. This is long news. Yeah, because I put. Oh wait, no, this is actually quick news. <laughs> okay, I'm lying. <laughs> we just did trailers. Now we're on to news. Oh god. Okay. Maybe we should There's get rid of really quick news. Not the bees. Uh, if you don't know, one point we've been playing on one point fourteen, but we've got the first one point fifteen snapshot, and everyone's saying we want cave updates. And Minecraft said, "We hear you. We're adding bees to and, the overworld." And, and they want to remove bugs as well. We want you to remove bugs, and we want you to add cave updates. <laughs> we hear you. We're adding bees. They're also, yeah, they're, they're doing the bugs. And I gotta say, they're doing the bugs part. Though. Listen, I, I've played the snapshot for one point fifteen, and I fucking love bees. You haven't, you haven't seen the thirty five. This week thirty five that is out. Oh, I haven't seen... Th- yeah. I've, I've only played 34.8. Literally, yeah. I saw on Twitter bees were being added okay. and the patch notes weren't even out and I was I was on it. Yeah, I was on it. I could have been one of those guys on YouTube m- making the new snapshot video. <laughs> I could have been the next Seth Blink because I, I, had, I had the inside scoop on bees but yeah. I just I just had didn't have the heart in it. Yeah, 35A has come out. Probably 35B's come out, maybe. Open Discord. I think it's good. Uh, I got some images of um, oh fucking hell! That I sent to you. Oh, you of doing? bees. Yeah. Let's see. Share. I think I I probably easier if I just open them on ShareX, I guess. Not the bees. Yeah, I got so I did some testing with bees. So here's me. Um, basically they spawn naturally in the wild. Um. In these, so there's a diff- these are nests and then there's hives, yeah. which is pretty confusing because those two things to me are the same thing. <laughs> yeah, nests um, and natural hives are what you build and like like beehives. I like spawn some garden. bees, um, so they spawn naturally, and then they go inside these and slowly over time they make honey. They make honey really slowly from the snapshot, which I think they kind of need to buff. Yeah, and there's different levels of honey, but you can only see level five. Which is when the texture on the beehive changes to be, honest, to be empty to honey. Okay, but to be honest though, in the version you were looking at, the bee yeah. hitbox the bee hitbox was wrong and it was like misplaced and thirty five A they they fixed it. Oh okay. I actually closed OBS, there we go. Um but I th- so when you hit bees, they get these angry red eyes <laughs> and they come for you yeah. and they uh, poison you similar to cave spiders. But they can only sting you once. Yeah. Then they die 60 seconds after. Rip. And they're also very forgiving, because if you walk away from them for a little bit, they kind of just forget <laughs> that you hit them as well. That's another feature of these. <laughs> okay. Um, here I am. I, I was starting to build... Um, I built like, a hive. Yeah. Because um, I, I hadn't read the patch notes, so I was, I was still trying to figure out... Because they added honey bottles, honey, cu- uh, honey um, comb, and... Um, hives and bees, and I was trying to figure out how they interacted with each other. I figured out if I put plants down, they would start pollinating yeah, them. Yeah, you need more plants makes it a lot quicker get honey. And that if I was like, I wonder, and then I figured out, oh, if I use a plant, I can probably lead them like yeah. a chicken with seeds or a cow with wheat. 
Um, but this, this is the honey texture. This is what it looks like when they've actually pollinated you, the flowers and they've made the honey. And you put a bottle on it. The hive. And you can drink the honey. There's two things you can do, actually. So the hive With also the shears. Has, yeah, the shears yeah. gives you the honeycomb. But the, the hive also has its own texture for that as well, which is really cool. Yep. So that's the next. I was going to say that I think yep. th this implementation is, like, really rushed, I think. So I think, really? I think loads of things... Because, like, some... I can't remember who I was watching, but, like, he was looking at the MBT data on the bees. Mm. So the hives actually store when a bee goes in it, what's inside of it. So if you silk touch it, the bees stay inside of it. Even, yeah. Even though it hurts yeah. you. But, like, there's, like, really random data. Like, for example, when a bee finds a flower... Yeah. It, for some reason, shares that information with all the other bees. Yeah, it goes, and no one... honey, detect that! <laughs> honey, detect that! Honey, yeah. detect that! And he's like, I have no idea why, but this is what they're doing. Mm. So I'm wondering if there's going to be like other mechanics they're going to add so later. So I, I built a greenhouse Beautiful. and I actually managed to farm some bees. Nice. Bees are fully, they're fully redstone enabled. Yeah, they're fully the, farmable. Because in this update they've added more dispenser functionality. So dispenser 2.0, yeah. So water bottles can now be used in it and you can use shears and water bottles on the, uh, I think, well, and the bottles on the And we've got OpenGL 2.0 I think as well, yeah. which is going to make the system requirements for Minecraft a little bit higher so if you're playing on a potato that's going to Rip. affect you <laughs> but basically that's behind the scenes to be, stuff to be fair modern potatoes are more powerful than if you don't potatoes. if you don't know what OpenGL is um it's like you can use it for like software ray tracing stuff is is the application yeah. i know what it's used for i i, I always for other stuff. i thought it was so like you could take some of the um, processing some of the power required for processing you can like dump it to some of the gpu is how i understood mm. some of it but that might not be accurate. One of my favorite things to do in Minecraft is farm. build greenhouses. Oh, oh right. <laughs> and build flowers. And now I can I do like, that. I can actually farm bees. I like farming, so this is like a mixture of both. I also like greenhouses and like. So what you palace. so what you do if you want to farm some bees? This is my quick tips. Minecraft tips and tricks. Episode one with scorn and tones and RT. <laughs> build yeah. a greenhouse. You need a roof on it because they will fly away. Yeah. They... Uh, I use Acadia doors because they have that nice transparent texture. The, the, very the, open. the acacia. Um, yeah, Acadia, sure. Acacia. Acacia, wherever, whichever There's way no you want it. it. Acadia, whichever way you want to pronounce it. These, those, are the, those are the savannah trees that grow really weirdly yeah. in savannah biomes. Um, put a bunch of flowers down to pollinate, the bees well, will come along. Yeah, you've yeah, got yeah. an even roof, and you've put one door in it. What are you I put at? I put two doors in it afterwards. Okay, because okay. I, uh, the bees had trouble getting through the one gap door, so I was, uh, okay. I'll put a two gap door in it. They're pretty big. Yeah, yeah. Bees are fucking huge, but the the reason they're so fucking huge is because you can have baby bees, yeah. and they're slightly smaller. Oh, that's one thing, Chris. Because you can you can breed bees with flowers. I know Mojang listens to us, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put my oh, criticism okay. here. Yeah. I wish the beehives had some the hives, not the nests. I wish they had some sort of UI so you can know what bees yes, are in them. that is what I want. Because, because the hives... The, sorry, it's the so nest, hard to tell what's yeah. going on in beehives. The nest makes sense. You can't tell what's in it. A hive, though... Like, I wish there on, was I a want, UI. I, yeah. I just want to see what bees are in it. Because like, they go inside and like, well, where are my bees? Are they in there? Or are they not in there? How am I supposed to know? So, to, to make your own greenhouse, you need glass, flowers, pretty easy to get. But then you need to shear... Some um honey um some bee nests yeah that um have honey inside that will give you honeycomb and then three honeycomb across the middle wood on the top you can make and that um <clears throat> you can make hives and then you can start mass producing honey and what you... honey does is if you put a bottle on it um you can drink it it's basically food it just gives you three hearts of hunger filled. I think it's better than that three chicken yeah i think it's, it's better than that you can eat it at any time and it gives you full saturation right now really yeah okay it's about one of the i was best thinking like um it's it takes a really long time to farm there yeah what does it mean and you can't bone meal it or anything i was gonna say though you can set up loads of them you can put a comparator on them then it'll go directly to the dispenser underneath it and, it'll, and like when it detects that it has honey and it will instantly well all I'm saying is I've been, I was massively lagging our server with the 1.14 bamboo farm <laughs> when 1.15 comes out I'm building the world's biggest bee farm the north's I, ever seen I didn't, we have to start a new server we have to start a new world no we would have to no, okay, you, oh, well, get the bees. Yeah. also if you haven't got the great oh okay how about this when 1.15 mm -hmm. comes out 
We're going to build the biggest farm the North has ever seen. The biggest bee farm no, in no, the no, world. No, no, yeah, we'll do all of it. Like bees, oh, okay. I'll do bamboo, pumpkins, chickens. Mm. I was doing that on the server floor earlier, actually. The, the creative one. I'm yeah. trying to see how to batch kill chickens. Okay. It was pretty brutal. I've been looking into farms more and more because I, I wanted to make uh, efficient XP farms. The best yeah. XP farm in the game is Enderman farms. Yes. And they are very dangerous to build because you yeah, have to the build end. them... No, you have to build them on the bottom of the end. Yeah. To get <laughs> down there, you have to like put some water down there. Uh-huh. And then you have to build them out of like leaves because Enderman can't walk on leaves. Yeah. And then you need to make like, a spawn area. But if you, you build use, it... You can use glass, I think, as well. I um, thought. There's some blocks they can't spawn on. Um, basically... If you if you can build like a, a successful Enderman farm, you can get like thirty levels in a couple of seconds. It's crazy. Anyway, I'd be happy with just a big old mob room to be honest though, because I want the gunpowder. I love bees. I love bees. I know some people were <laughs> upset. Michael, especially the caves won't be on, but I I I fucking love bees. <laughs> Michael said they only bees. You didn't well care done, about Minecraft. Bees. He was like, I, I hate bees from mods. Why do they add bees? It was a World Warcraft one point one million. Alright, moving on. Oh, quick news. Uh, quick news. <laughs> Matrix 4 is coming with Keanu Reeves, and Spider Man is out of the, uh, the. I was about to say the Minecraft Cinematic Universe. He's out of the <laughs> Minecraft Cinematic Universe. <laughs> Steve will no longer be in films <laughs> with Spider Man. Uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe. That is a shame. Sony and Disney are arguing. Some people are like, fuck Sony, they're trying to get more money, but some people have said Disney does this thing where. Once they've made a couple of films, they then strong arm people into yeah. certain deals because they did the same thing with Netflix and the Marvel original series. Yeah, the, the Sony Sony just don't want to be messed around. I think I don't I don't blame I don't blame Sony to be honest because Disney is the one that bring fucks back Tobey Maguire and Sam Raimi <laughs> for Spider Man Four. Yeah, this time with five villains he fights throughout. Can the we film. have Mysterio? Yes. <laughs> There's Mysterio in the new Spider-Man film. Yeah. But I, which I haven't seen. But I want so. Mysterio with Tony McGuire. Hmm. Anyway. Um, Sony has acquired Insomniac Games. Uh, this is big news because to most the people, post. they Insomniac employees start to learn <laughs> Sony didn't already own Insomniac. <laughs> That's a shit post from a, a satirical um, video game technology newspaper thing, similar to like The Onion. Yeah. Um, but yeah, at this point, <laughs> Sony might as well have owned Insomniac Games because yeah. they've only been making PS4 exclusives. Uh, everyone knows They're the infamous pi- um, Spider-Man game that came out recently, and mine and your favorite video game series of all time, Ratchet and Clank, which came out PS2. So they've been exclusive since at least the PlayStation Two. Wait, did they did they do Jack and Daxter? Or is that someone no, else? No, someone else. That's uh, yeah, I always get confused. Because they came out at the same time yes. and they both have furries in them. They're both also exclusive to Sony. Mm. <laughs> Naughty Dog and Insomniac only do exclusives for Sony. Anyway, move on. Uh, and Inv- Nvidia made some Gamescom drivers. Um, so we've got a big. It was actually quite a big driver because usually the, the, a game comes out, we get yeah. a new driver. This is actually quite a cool driver. I'm using I, it at the moment. Because that's what, when I downloaded it after my crash on my computer, it's like it was huge. And you haven't opened this link either. Or you've put it in the room. No, I've, I keep. You haven't fucked up. What? I've fucked up. It's fine. What have I done? We're ignored. <laughs> you haven't done anything. Ignore okay. my mistakes. What did you do? I skipped a link on the list accidentally. Anyway, oh. <laughs> uh, so we've got ultra low latency mode. Yeah. Um, so you can, you know, when you're playing your intense FPS games, you can have no latency. Apparently, <laughs> some people are having severe performance issues with this mode. So take it with a grain of salt. You probably want a very powerful GPU yeah. to be using having this mode. Having no latency sounds like it's you have to get the CPU some to issues drive. If you don't yeah. have a very powerful machine. We have GPU inter- integrated scaling for Turing cards. So RTX or GTX 16 series. If you don't know what integer scaling is... Uh, if you're someone like me who has a monitor that's like 1440p <laughs> or like a 4K monitor, um, when, when you have a game, say like, I think this is faster than light. Yeah, this is FDR. Um, it, if it's, uh, the, the resolution is only in um, 1080p, on a 4K yeah. monitor it's going to look really blurry. But with integer scaling they can take a... Um, no. How does it work? 
What? You could, they could take like 1080p and then upscale it yeah. four times. So normally when you scale an image, it assumes it's like an organic image and it does like triangle scaling, yeah. which which makes it look really ugly. But you can then turn it on to, well, this is, I don't know why this isn't a thing since ages ago because there's so many pixels. But it helps graphic. with like pixel yes. art a lot. For pixel light, you have to use this type of scaling. It has it's like just literally scales the size like, to its area. Mm. So there's not it's not doing anything fancy trying to pretend they're triangles. Because what the other normal scaling will do, it, it thinks that oh, it's just smaller quality, so clearly that's maybe like a triangular line. And then it's like, oh, I'll make the, I'll do that, and it looks really blurry because of it. The 1080p fits into 4K um, four, four times. times, and then for 1440p, you need 720 because it fits into 1440 two times. Yeah, it technically scales 1.5 times from NA, but yeah. Yeah, so you need to use 720. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then we had some FPS improvements. Um, I downloaded, I saw some increases in Apex Legends, which is cool because it's going to play a lot. Battlefield Five, Forza, uh, Strange Brigade, and World War Z. Minecraft didn't give me the extra frames, though. That wasn't one of the games. Was it not? Damn. No. There was the RTX patch. <laughs> oh, you, right, yeah. Have you done the RTX no, drivers? No, for... I haven't. You need to test I that need, out. I do need to test that Wait, out. Wait, you don't. You need Windows 10. Do I actually? It's the... Oh, it's Vulcan it's, support. It's, for the, C, it's yeah. for the C++ Windows 10 Bedrock Edition Minecraft. Not the Java one. I get the mod Let's the talk Java about one, our boys though. PUBG. They're adding cross-play between PS4 and Xbox One. And PC, not between oh. PC. <laughs> Um, so if you're playing on a PC, you won't be able to play on your friends on consoles. We've seen other games like um, Fortnite. You do you match people based on their controllers, yeah. which is a, a good way to make uh, matchmaking fair. What kind of controller on my uh, PC? Our bo- oh, I was going to say, our boys, Star Citizen. They They're held a private going. event <laughs> where tickets were sold for $275. Yeah. And then they were able to buy a ship for six hundred and seventy-five dollars, a mine layer ship with gameplay features that aren't even available right now. I love how mine laying, medical farming, colonization, news reporting, oh, exploration, goodness. science, piracy, docking, bounty hunting, research, information warfare, refining, repairing, it's refueling, or the flight model, and many more. I think Star Citizen should focus on finishing its game before it keeps promising more features and selling. Six hundred dollar ships to people. I swear, every events. six months, nothing happens with Sarsid, or small things happen with Sarsid, and then six months later, something happens and it's controversial. I think um, the single player got delayed recently as well. Yeah. Uh, Sarsid and single player beta has been pushed back. That was something that happened yet that I saw yesterday. Uh, I have to do that because the webcam's the- blocking <laughs> up my tabs. Yeah, so Sarsid and single player beta uh, release date has been pushed back as well. At this point, I don't think Star Citizen's ever coming out. Um, what do, do you, you want it to, though? I don't care. <laughs> You're a Kickstarter backer. So. Yeah. Well, I'm a post-Kickstarter backer. I'm just... Really. Well, we, di- we, we didn't think <laughs> Duke Nukem Forever was ever coming out. And yeah. it did, and I played it, and it was oh, the shit. worst thing ever I'd ever played. I remember Jesse Cox saying he was very drunk playing you know, throughout it. Do you know what's crazy, though? What? Star Citizen was Kickstarted, right? Yeah. I think like five months or some months after it, Elite Dangerous was kickstarted, and it mm. came out. <laughs> wow! And now they're at a point where they they got the base game out. It was mm. pretty solid. It was missing some features that like, the original game had. They added those in with free patches. They then I think expansions. Um, Elite Dangerous is very big for VR, right? Yeah, but I'm saying they're actually releasing some of the stuff that they're promising to add in the base game of Star Citizen. Wow! So I think by the time that it's released, it's going to be obsolete because. Elite Dangerous will have everything. I feel like Star Citizen's a money laundering vaporware scheme yeah, at this I point. Yeah, I don't know. Tell us, tell us what you think in the comments. I don't trust that. Like, what's, what's the Chris? What's he called? Like Chris? Chris? The lead. The, the lead. The person in charge of Star Citizen. Like, I have like, no like, idea. He's done like um, X Wing or something. On that. I don't. I don't trust them. <laughs> Uh, Chris Roberts. Chris Roberts, okay. I don't, I don't know. I don't really understand like how he doesn't seem to have done anything, but people trust him for some reason. So I don't know. I guess we'll never know. We will. If it doesn't come out, it gets cancelled. Uh, Valve says, turning away researchers reporting Steam vulnerability was a mistake. I will take uh, no-brainers for 500. <laughs> um, basically, what happened was uh, someone pointed out a flaw um, in Steam... 
be turned away. <laughs> they were then like, oh shit, so we shouldn't have done that. They shifted the blame off. Um, yeah. Don't do it. Don't do Listen it. to your people who are helping you. They have a system, I think, because it was Hacker One um, program, is the Valve's program. There's also, is it Google Zero? Google Zero is the Day Zero project. Uh, it says security analysis, so yeah, I assume. Zero, oh yeah, zero day vulnerability. Yeah, well, they have like a similar one where they're like, if you come to us before exploits get enabled, we'll give you a bounty. Yeah. I also read that Steam offers like the worst bounty program for vulnerabilities. They only offer like a thousand <laughs> per bounty oh, right. when they could potentially cost Steam like millions. Yeah. So, if, yeah, if you want to look more into the article, it's very in-depth. You can read this article on Ars Technica, but I'm not the smartest man, so I probably shouldn't be talking about technical security vulnerabilities because it's not something I know much about. But it's an interesting article, so check it out. Hades is coming to Steam Early Access on December 10th. Um, it, it, it was an Epic Games yeah. exclusive, Supergiant Games. The game itself was funded... Um, by Epic themselves. I think um, this was the ones I was okay with. Mm. Uh, like, this is from the developers of Bastion, Transistor, Pyre, and now Hades. It's like a roguelite Greek mythology game where you go in, you die, yeah. you come back. It's kind of like an isometric... Um, oh, what's it called? Apothean. Looks mm. like the kind of art style it's going for. Kingdom Come Deliverance to get official modding support. This is a game that's had mixed reviews. Some people like it, some people don't. It's had some it, support. Yeah. Updates it's it's and stuff very like realistic, so some people won't, won't like it. Some but people official really modding like support them. is pretty cool. Um, Newsground is working on an open source emulator to preserve all Flash content on the web. Beautiful. Which is pretty cool. Uh, we finally get a place um, to save all those weird news new grounds. I keep calling it. I want to call it news grounds because of the old TV show. Yeah. Um. There's this. There's also Blue Mania Flashpoint. There's going to be absolutely which no vulnerabilities is with this. A um a downloader for Flash games. Where there's another effort to preserve all the Flash games that are going to disappear when they kill Flash in 2020, and then we have. Uh, new grounds preserving all the flash videos, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. Next up on the news, we have an update for the lab. If you don't know, lab came out in 2016. It was, um, good. it was the VR showcase, you know, killer app for the, the <laughs> Vive. It, yeah. it was a really good game. I played a, killer demo. a lot of the lab. I've played yeah. all the lab, um, but now they're updating it for you, the index. In you 2019. can pet the dog. You can pet the dog now. They still won't mention Fable. No. God damn them. <laughs> uh, so now um, the lab supports all hand-based um, VR. Uh, that's including that's the index to to and it. anything else, <laughs> including any um, finger point tracking. So if you have VR gloves that come out at some point, those will be the able knuckles. to be supported. Knuckles aren't finger. They're, they're grip. They're not individual fingers. Oh, I see. You can't... They know if you're gripping with a finger, but not if you're... Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, there's now physics-based interactions. So everything has physics. Um, Steam audio has been added. I think real fake physics. What? Because it's they're adding physics, but it's a VR world. That's, okay. You can now pet the dog, as Tony pointed out. Uh, because everything in the original uh, Steam Labs from 2016 felt very static. Yeah. Like everything has physics. The dog followed you. Steam audio has been added, which we talked about in the past, was quite big for VR because it's, it's this 3D I, spatial technology for being I able to hear stuff late everywhere, 2016 or which is pretty important for yeah. um, VR spatial audio. Um, they could they bug, always use ray tracing. They bug audio. fixed everything, and it now supports all refresh rates. Um, so it was initially designed to be run at 90 hertz, but now it can but, be run um, on any well, headset they're, they're on small, any refresh rate. This small company called Val brought out a thing that ran at 120 hertz. They kind of and had can to. be set to 144 <laughs> yeah. hertz experimental mode. So, so they kind of had to for this small company that brought out mm. the the Valve Index. I love it whenever people are like. Oh, I wish that WoW would add this feature. It's like Blizzard. Blizzard such is a small indie. <laughs> yeah. I wish they'd. Add, I wish they'd add the ability to add have more than eight deck slots in Hearthstone. 
You know, Blizzard, yeah, the in- indie company, is not going to add that. Epic is currently the small indie company. I just wish they had a shopping cart and a review mm. system to their store. Speaking of Epic, recently they made it... You know, they kept missing all their deadlines <laughs> for their Trello page. Um, basically, they've now gone and, and taken all the dates off their plan features and just said, these are in active development. They'll come out at some point. So Epic's completely giving up on delivering on any of their yeah. store dates. Um... I think Next up, we have oh, Shovel Knight Dig. There's a brand new Shovel Knight game coming out, which is pretty cool. There we go. It's Shovel Knight. Got this trailer. I love Shovel Knight. I've played <laughs> yeah, Shovel Knight. Shovel Great game. And it also seems like Shovel Knight is the mascot for indie games. Yeah. Because in any true. indie game where you can play as another character, <laughs> Shovel Knight is there. Yeah. Well, see, let's try and list what he's in. He's in, was it? I think he's in Ukulele? Yeah. Um, he's, he's in... He was dead in another, like, ukulele-looking thing, wasn't he? Mm. He's in every... I, I see if the games that Shovel Knight is in. <laughs> There's probably a list. Because he's in so many games. Appearances. Wait, Shovel Knight... This is Shovel Knight fandom. Like he... Yeah. <laughs> what? He has appeared in Runbo, Star Mazer, Cook Serve Delicious Battle Kitchen. He's in Road, Road Redemption <laughs> is a character in Road Redemption. He's in Move or Die, Dino Run oh. DX, Ghost Police, Indivisible, Blaster Master Zero, Runner 3, Indie Pogo, Blade Strangers, Mutant Mod Super Challenge, Rise of Afer, Puzzle Depot, Sea Wars, Creepy Castle, ASD, All Star oh, Dungeons and Diamonds, Brawlhalla, Riverbond. <laughs> Oh, guest and cameo appearances, <laughs> Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, The Rewards, Tales of Elathrion, Crypt of the Necrodancer, Pixel Knot, Azure, Ukulele. Silver Gun of Roll, Ukulele, Super, Super Smash Bros. <laughs> Ultimate, he appears in Assist Trophy, Aegis Defenders, Fight Night, Enter the Gungeon, Other, <laughs> Just, Just Shapes and Beats, Katana Zero, Shovel Knight appears in everything. Wait, that's so. I got one reference as a YouTube video. Yeah, that's all you need, baby. <laughs> okay. It's, that's, that's the... That's the um, the Harvard reference system, right yeah. there. Probably so. Just, just re- reference the video showing you references. Uh, so, all new presentation featuring a new Shovel Knight story when Drill Knight and his dastardly digging through <laughs> blast apart. Shovel Knight, peaceful campsite and still his loot. He grabs his treasure shovel blade and starts tunneling after them. The first Shovel Knight Look adventure in a glorious... It's beautiful. High pixel graphic and sound, fluid animation, scaling, rotation and palettes create the most convincing Shovel Knight world yet. Every animation is different. Jump, slash, and dig your way in all new direction down, which you couldn't do before. Rely on your trusty shovel drop, then dig through huge swaths of dirt with the all new speed shovel mechanics. Being able to dig down into dirt and having things that can fall on you kind of reminds me of Steamworld Dig or Spelunky, those sort of games. Yeah. New Knights. Uh, yeah. Don't know if we have a it says for this. Oh, Was that a mushroom knight? Yes, there's now oh my Mushroom God. Knight, just like Mario. <laughs> it's, a, it's a warlock, clearly. Do we have a release date for this yet? Let's have a look. 2019. <laughs> okay, sure. They call into Newsweek. We trust them. They're a <laughs> reputable news source. It so. was top on Google. Yeah. It's like Toby Taylor's scary story. Telltale Games is back, in name, and sort some of. of the assets. Sort so, of. Telltale Games, on paper, uh, a report earlier by Polygon... Um, they had their big closure yeah. and now holding company LCG Entertainment run by industry veterans Jamie Otterley and Brian Waddle um, they have purchased the name and uh, the Wolf Among Us and Batman properties yeah I'm not sure how long this will last they haven't got any of their staff apparently according to that oh okay <laughs> I, th- I thought thing. some of the staff moved over to this new company yeah but most of them not mm. and they've got all thought three IPs well, imagine because Skybound got the rights to The Walking Dead, yeah. who make, who who own The Walking Dead yeah. franchise. I think Dave was excited about this because he said he wanted another Wolf Among Us game. Yeah, but I'm not. If you're gonna fire all your writers and things, though, and like, but, yeah, but imagine what, what's gonna well, happen. Well, this is this isn't Telltale Games. No, this is LCG Entertainment. They also don't have the same writers though. So how the hell are they gonna continue it? What I'm saying is, it's it's a weird place to be in because yeah. you want to hire people back to Telltale Games, but it's not Telltale Games. It's a different company. It's a fresh well, they, start. But well, they want to come back after what, exactly the, the, because the of the, shit the, the name through. and, and stuff. it's their holding company, so they have were partly responsible. 
This is the same holding company that owned Telltale. Yeah, exactly. Is is that true? I don't know. I'm pretty sure it was. LCG and uh, Telltale. I thought they, they, they held Telltale. Did they? I thought they did. They're relaunching Telltale brand. I don't know. Did they say what they used to own? They're clearly not a holding company anymore. Um... I'm not sure, to be honest with you. Yeah, oh, no, yeah it was acquired by other GC. Okay, so. Oh, wait, this is the, um, the people, you know, like the news, like, oh, this might come back. Yeah. These are the people that people were excited that might come back, but they were still getting rid of most of the, most of the staff. Hmm. So they acquired, like, a, a liquidated version. Yeah, but I don't think they didn't, they didn't, they didn't have it originally before. owned. No, they didn't have it before, no. So... Uh, this would be a new Telltale. I still, yeah, but they, soon they didn't keep the, the staff on. I don't know what, what the hell's going to happen. But do you think they'd be able to get staff back? No. No. Okay. Where's the money coming from? From LCG Entertainment. They just bought the assets. <laughs> That'd be really cheap. I don't know. I don't know how much they cost. They're big not, IPs. Not enough to pay every the severances for the staff, clearly. But these aren't Telltale games. No, but they paid. For the t they paid Telltale Games for buying their rights to owning it. To the name. Which they then didn't use any of that money to then give severance to the staff. If you're a company buying the name Telltale Games, why should you pay the Telltale Games Because staff? your company is failing and you have to pay the last few months. No, I'm, talking, I'm talking about LCG. No, 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 no that's, that's fine. They don't have to do anything. That's not their fault. But I'm just saying, I'm not... I don't know. I'm not convinced. I think you're getting confused good. between which tell. I'm talking about LCG Entertainment yes, Telltale games. I know. I know. I know. I know what we're talking about. So, I'm saying they're a different for, company. In, yeah, in order for them to buy that company, though, they had to give money to the original company, which owed money to the staff, which they didn't pay. They can't force Telltale Games to give no, the money true. that they used to purchase the assets to true, the people. True. But I'm saying it, it can't be of that much then, if they weren't able to pay them. No, it's not. It's probably not. They weren't able to, and they just chose not to. Is what I would I say. I guess. What a great I mean, they're getting they're getting sued by a class action lawsuit, so they're probably going to get the money yeah. one way or another. Hopefully. Yeah. Only hope. Mario Kart Mobile. Uh, we talked about this was leaked. We got the official trailer. Um, now there's a Mario Kart. There's a 3D Mario Kart game <laughs> on mobile. Uh, based on the leaked beta, it was full of microtransactions because they initially did Mario Kart Run. Which was a paid game. You oh, yeah. purchased it and then I remember oh god. You purchased it and then you could just play it forever, but it seems like they're going for the free to play model of just shoving better carts in with, you know, microtransactions. So I don't know how good this game is going to be. Take this. I don't understand why they can't just make it a normal game on your phone. Uh, I don't think they made much money off Mario Kart Run. Okay. They 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 made a profit of like I think it was like twelve million or something, but that's not a lot of money for Nintendo. No. So I think they the thing is, free to play, full of pay to win microtransactions is a shitty system for gamers, but it works, and it, it makes a lot publishers. of money. So it's so dumb. I mean, they're a business and they're gonna make money. So yeah, Overcooked well, Two DLC. Uh, there's another one. Uh, another one. Carnival of Chaos is coming out because we had the summer one. Uh, there's some other ones. It was like a barbecue one or something. Mm. Overcooked. I have the I have the the character DLC where you can play as the monkey. They bring out DLC quite often then. Uh, they have a season pass, so I guess. Okay. It's basically with each DLC they just add. Um, oh, surf and turf is what I'm thinking of. With each DLC they just add a, a, a different scenario and yeah. some new um, cooks to play as. I have the. Too many cooks one because I wanted to play as, um, I wanted to play as the monkey chef. That's pretty much why I got it, and it was on sale and it was really cheap. Because there's there's some that are character packs that are cheaper. Yeah. And there's like I've got the the surf and turf DLC, which the surf and turf are pretty good. I thought it's like a summer one. Yeah. And then there's we talked about the. Um, the Campfire Cook-Off, which is another one, and they were, did like a spooky Halloween one, Night of the Hangry Horde, so that's another one. Anyway, what, what's our next topic? Oh, any Fortnite fans here? Any Borderlands 3 <laughs> fans here? 
Fortnite. We love Fortnite. Uh, we can see the extent of the deal of uh, Borderlands 3 being on the Epic Games Store because now uh, you can go to Pan Pandora. Is it Pandora? I think it's called I think it's Pandora, Planet. yeah. In uh, Fortnite. Uh, there's a special event. You go in there, you become sh cell shaded and you can go and look at stuff and adding Christ. Psycho with a claptrap on his back. Not a real claptrap because they couldn't get claptrap back. No, because <laughs> he was sexually assaulted. He was assaulted in the Marriott Hotel, according to... By Randy Pitchford. Yeah. According, allegedly, I should say. I don't want to get sued. Slander. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool. It it's looks cool, but it, it's kind of sad that Fall Out 3 is on the Epic. Yeah. Um, new Steam Labs experiment is currently running, so they're planning on adding a search page with infinite scrolling, which we were talking about before the podcast starts. You said you didn't like no. infinite scrolling. I said I used it on Reddit, and I liked the infinite scrolling on Reddit. I don't, I don't like how many resources it uses, and I like just going through pages. I'm okay with that. Um, and they're also at... Gonna add new fields including hiding owned, ignored, wished games, and possibly a max price control. I think that's the big thing is the max price control. Say, mm. I only want to spend this much on the game. So that's pretty interesting. You can't um, think of add that on the cart. Like I don't want to actually spend. Apex like Legends is gonna add a limited time event for Wraith. Everyone was saying, why is it Wraith? She's the most popular character. That's why. <laughs> um, she's gonna sell the skins. Uh, but the big thing is they're adding a limited time event called Armed and Dangerous where we weapons are limited to snipers and shotguns. That'll be a fun little limited time game mode to play. There will be um, some challenges with some skins to unlock for people playing. That is starting in two days, September 3rd to September 17th. It Why seems September like this will be the limited time mode to replace the solos. Yep, yeah, what did you say? Why is September the 3rd? It's a date. It's a Tuesday. It has to start it? on a date. <laughs> Maybe that's it's patch really... day. I don't Maybe. know. Okay. If it's Usually patch games day. patch in like the middle of the week. You no, know, like okay. Tuesday well, or Wednesday. Well, Steam does maintenance on a Tuesday, like night. Mm. Makes sense. Uh, oh, this is the last, uh, second to last news. Uh, the dark dev that got offered uh, Epic exclusivity and turned it down said, if Epic were willing to let him sell his game uh, on Steam as well as the Epic Game Store, he would take all the Epic Game Store money he got from selling it and donate it to charity, which kind of just reminds me of the publicity thing that um, yeah. Epic did themselves and said, if Valve just cuts back their cut, we'll definitely stop going after exclusives. <laughs> it's like, you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. This is kind of one of those moves yeah. where you're putting someone in a really awkward position. Well, so. you're, 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 you're calling their bluff, really. Well, he is. Deep Rock Galactic update this 25 is, actually looks really good. This is a I'm big excited for this. this is coming late in September, so the end of this month, if you're watching this live. Um, this looks really cool. Be uh, you, you wanted a beard mechanic or beard physics. So right? we're going to get deep dives, which are like extra hard. They, you kind of you go into one mission and you do it's like three missions all put together and then you so like you, drill you, through you them into the next bigger, mission. Yeah. That looks so it's cool. like, a, like, like a mini campaign in a way. Yeah. And you can get also you can get these special rewards for late game. So if you see That's here, really like cool. all of them put together, and you get like these cells, mm. and then what you do with these cells is you encounter. Uh, let's see if I can. Oh, they're adding new, um, new, what are they called? New modifiers: low oxygen mode, um, lethal enemies. Regenerative bugs, so if you stop shooting them, they gain back their health. Volatile guts, so every single bug in the mission will explode, <laughs> which seems insane to me. That's going to be a really hard one to deal with. Um, parasites, so when you kill bugs, they turn into smaller bugs. These little oh parasite my God. bugs. What? No, that's too Haunted powerful. caves, so similar to the ghost in Spelunky, there's a giant bug that slowly follows you throughout <laughs> the, the thing that you can't kill, which sure. is really cool. So it's too scary. You, based on these stages you complete, you get these caches. You then put them into... Um, in the mission, you can then put them into... Put them into these things. You then have to defend them, and then you get a new late-game resource, which you then use to unlock uh, weapon overclocks. Uh, oh. They also said they're adding new cosmetics. 
see if we go into the these so this is called the machine event um, they're showing off some of the new enemies that will attack you if they show off this is the thing you have to defend and then you add a, a these are some of the overclocks you can add um, some completely change the gun. There's also there's also um, some machine events that are puzzles as well. If you like puzzles, more puzzles. There's no puzzles at the moment, no. so this is the first one. I I, I think puzzles are good. Be good because like some of like the defense ones. Are so some boring. some of the overclocks will just edit stats. You can have like more fire, f higher fire rate for more damage, and then some will just completely change the weapon. Some are just RNG ones that will completely change the way you play. So that's really yeah. cool. Adding more late game stuff. Um, and you'll unlock these overclocks through the new forge when that comes out. This is kind of showing off some of the overclocks. You can equip them. Some have positive effects. This this is purely positive. And then you have some balanced ones that minus something to plus something. And then you have like unstable ones that do like crazy things. I still haven't got any like colored things for my guns. And then they shut off the best feature: oh, beard look at physics. That. Look they're adding at the... tons of new beards. They they basically they say in the video this is a game about mining, but let's make Beard Simulator 2019. <laughs> I, I think we're all excited for the beard physics. At least I am. That's I'm excited, that's the biggest yeah. feature for me. Look is how the beard beautiful physics. some of those beards are. Uh, I think we'll end here because I think we're out of time now. So we'll do the Pete Morology tweet. He said, "Game of the year is upon us." We have this game. Untitled Goose Game. Which is a real game. It's finally time... <laughs> ...to honk. I have no idea what's happening or what this game is about. You just have to, like, completely level is it, is it strange that I think this game is more... F the trailer for this game is more re understandable than Death Stranding. Yeah, well this explains what you're doing. You're just trying to complete the level, but you, you're, a, you're a goose. You're a goose that has to You can't open things. a door, so you have to try and convince a human to open the door. It's like a puzzle game. This game looks great. It is great. Oh no! <laughs> no, no. The anti gooses. <laughs> Coming soon. Coming September 20th. That's going. I'll give it a like. I have to check that out. Untitled Goose Game. Yep. Epic Game Store. I'm a... <laughs> I've lost all my hype. No! <laughs> Get Nintendo Switch, Joe. Oh, no. It's exclusive to Switch in the Epic Game <laughs> Store. No. I was so hyped for this game, suddenly, but now I've lost all my hope. Okay. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, it's, it'd be a pass for me then. No. That's the end of the podcast. Um... You can check us out and everything in between podcasts on YouTube. Type in Peter Molyneux's name. He's always there. Um, Twitch.tv slash Scorn if you want to watch us live. And at Scorn2000, I'll post on Twitter any um, news about the podcast or VODs going up. Uh, that's the end. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>